Well, what did you see at Christmas? Maybe presents, hopefully? So lights, I'm sure. Food? Television? All kinds of things. What did the wise men see? Everybody remember that? The star, wasn't it? The star in the east. And what did the shepherds see? Sheep. They saw one angel, and then they saw a whole load of angels praising God and telling about the Lord Jesus Christ being born in Bethlehem. Other people saw Jesus just after he was born, but they saw more than just a baby. The shepherds, of course, they rushed to Bethlehem to see the baby. And later, we'll hear now about other people who saw the baby Jesus. Let's find out what it was they saw, more than just a baby. Simeon and Anna see Jesus. At eight days old, Jesus got his name. They called him Jesus, as both Joseph and Mary were told separately by an angel what his name must be. You shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Remember the angel told Joseph. Mm -hmm. Saviour. Jesus is the only one who will save his people from their sins. Remember the meaning of his name? Saviour. When Jesus was six weeks old, Joseph and Mary took him to the temple in Jerusalem. They said thank you to God for Jesus. Mary offered a sacrifice to God, as God had told all mothers to do. This showed that Mary knew she was a sinner and was sorry for her sins. Who saw Jesus? In the temple, a man called Simeon. Simeon often went to the temple because God had told him he would see his Saviour one day. God had told Simeon to go into the temple at the very time baby Jesus was there. Simeon took baby Jesus up in his arms. He praised God. He said, My eyes have seen your salvation. God had told him he wouldn't die until he would see the Saviour. And so his heart was full of joy. He said other things as well, but that was the, the first thing, the most important thing he was saying was his eyes had seen God's salvation. Not only his eyes, but he believed in his heart. He believed Jesus was the Messiah. That means the Christ, the sent one, the one that God had promised for the Jews. And he also knew that God had promised for all people. As Simeon said in what he said later as well. And Simeon believed that he wasn't just for the Jews, but he was for other people. And we thank the Lord for that. Otherwise we would have no hope we could be lost if, just, if the Saviour, the Messiah, wasn't for us as well. He believed that Jesus was the Saviour that God had promised to send. Christ and Messiah both mean Jesus was sent by God. The word, both words, or names mean sent one. Another stranger came into the temple and saw baby Jesus. Anna. Anna was a very old lady who was also waiting for the promised Saviour. Anna was so happy now too because she believed Jesus was the Saviour that God had promised to send. Anna told everyone she knew who was also waiting for the promised Saviour, Jesus the Saviour has come. Anna told them that she had seen Jesus the Saviour. Simeon and Anna knew that Jesus was not just another baby. What did they see? Not just another baby, but the Messiah. Who saw Jesus? Simeon, Anna. They saw the Messiah. We cannot see the Lord Jesus Christ with our eyes today. We each need to believe in our souls who Jesus is. God wants us all to be sorry for our sins and ask him to change us. God wants us all to believe that only Jesus is our Savior. 
God says in the Bible, now is the day of salvation. Today, that means now, right now. We don't know about tomorrow. We don't even know about the next minute. Some of us may not have another minute to live. Nobody knows. And so it's so important that we come to the Lord Jesus Christ today while it is still the day of salvation. And trust in Him as our Lord and Saviour. Repent of our sins. Believe that only He can save us by giving us His goodness in place of our sins. So now is the day of salvation. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2. And that is what God says.